Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have filmed a get ready with me video, which I'm super excited about because I'm actually going to a fairly fancy event right after I film this intro. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm also working with Ovation Hair in this video. And if you're not already familiar with them, they are a salon quality hair care brand and they obviously wanna help you achieve healthier hair. So I will be using the six ounce trial set that they sent me. I had a chance to actually try them out a few times before this video, of course. So I know that I actually like them and I was super impressed. So I'm very excited to share them with you. The Ovation Hair six ounce trial set that I'm using in this video comes with a color therapy shampoo, a color therapy conditioner, as well as their cell therapy hair and scalp treatment. You will see me using this system in the video because I will obviously be showing you guys myself getting ready for this event, but I do want to say that I was very impressed. Genuinely, it was a really great product. They all smell amazing. Can you hear this rain? It is so loud. I don't even know if the microphone is gonna catch it, but it's literally so loud. I feel like I have to yell. So anyways, if you want to see how I got ready for this event, then just keep watching. So I like to start getting ready for events by first washing my hair in the shower. So I will be using the Ovation Color Therapy Shampoo. If you do not have color treated hair, you can obviously use this as well. I really love it. It is paraben free and sulfate free, which is amazing for your hair. And of course, this is a fade fighting formula, which is perfect for color treated hair. It helps protect your color from things like hard water in the shower that can alter your hair color, as well as just simple things like UV rays from the sun and even heat styling your hair as well. So next I will move on to the Ovation Cell Therapy Hair and Scalp Treatment. This is another product from Ovation Hair that anybody can use no matter what your hair type is. You basically want to start by applying this to your scalp and massage it around. This is so nice. I've actually noticed a huge difference in my scalp. If you've watched my videos for a long time, I have a very, very dry scalp. Then you want to basically comb it through. I actually like to bring a brush into the shower. Just obviously make sure it's one that you can use on wet hair so you're not damaging your hair while it's wet. And you just want to comb it through and wait about three to five minutes. And while I'm waiting, I like to just wash my body or you could shave, do whatever you need to do. But this treatment is clinically proven to reduce hair breakage by more than 80%, so it will help your hair stay longer and stronger. It also helps reduce any static or flyaways that you might have, and it helps give your hair really nice shine, which I definitely notice. And again, it is safe to use on any hair type. So after I make sure I thoroughly wash that out of my hair, I'm going to apply the color therapy conditioner. And this is very similar to the shampoo in the sense that it helps protect, obviously, from hard water or UV rays and heat styling. And of course, if you do have color treated hair that is super rich or a very vibrant color and you don't want it to fade quickly, definitely check out this color therapy shampoo and conditioner. I think you will really like it. And of course, anybody else who just wants really manageable hair, this is a really great conditioner. I was super impressed with my hair afterwards after using this entire system. It was so soft and silky. So I'm definitely a big fan of this system already. I will obviously continue to use this. I've definitely noticed a big difference in my hair and how soft it is. So um, I'm a big fan. If you do wanna check it out, definitely look at the description box for the link. And that's pretty much it for the shower part of my routine for getting ready for this event. So let's go ahead and move on over to makeup. I always like to prep my skin first, so I'm prepping my under eyes with my favorite eye cream from Ula Hendrickson, and then for the rest of my face, I'm actually mixing two. I'm mixing the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and the Pixi Glotion Day Dew, just to give a little bit of iridescentness to my skin and make it look really healthy and dewy. And then I will use my favorite concealer at the moment, which is from Becca. It's the Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream, and I have mine in the shade Praline. I was not the biggest fan of cream concealers originally but I found this one and it's amazing. I love how it makes my under eyes look, but I do like to use a different concealer for my blemishes, which I have so many at the moment. I recently talked about this in another video. My skin was just like freaking out. 
But I recently discovered the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer in the shade Fair is the perfect skin color shade for me right now, which is really weird because that's their lightest shade and it's like when I'm tan, so weird. But anyways, for foundation, I have been obsessed with the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundations for quite some time now, so it's like my go-to, especially for events. And I'm mixing porcelain and warm nude just to get my perfect shade at the moment. And I'm actually using the Beauty Sponge from the body shop. I love this one because it actually has like a really pointy end. So it's good for getting around like your nose or the inner corners of your eyes or something. Better for concealer, but I just use it for everything. And then I'm going to powder underneath my eyes and on my T-zone with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. It's definitely my favorite for setting makeup. Um, it's like the one that looks least cakey basically not cakey at all it just looks so flawless and perfect and then i will move on to my eyebrows and pretty much the only thing i use now is my anastasia beverly hills brow Wiz pencil in the shade medium brown it is the perfect shade for matching my natural brow color and i do believe they have quite a good selection for their brow pencils so if you're looking for a new one and don't mind spending a little bit of extra money I highly suggest checking this one out and it's actually lasted a pretty long time. And then of course, I will be setting them in place with my Essence Lash and Brow Gel as usual. For the eyeshadow look, I used my Tarte, Tartlet, and Bloom eyeshadow palette, and I'm using the color Sweetheart in my crease. It's a really beautiful blush shade, and the theme of this party slash event I was going to was Garden Party Cocktail Chic, so I wanted everything to be quite like florally and fresh and just kind of like girly. So I used a little bit of Jet Setter in the outer corners and a little bit into the crease to deepen it up and just add a little bit more depth, and I will be adding a bit more of a warmer shade just to kind of warm up the whole look, but I just wanted to create that definition first. So the warmer shade I'm using from the In Bloom eyeshadow palette is called Rebel. This is a matte, almost like red brownish kind of color. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just a kind of medium brown with a red undertone. I thought it would look really good for deepening up the look since it is more of an evening garden party theme. So then I wanted to just blend everything out. I used the shade Flower Child, which is just like a matte nude shade. And it was just perfect for blending everything out on the brow bone area. And I wanted to give a little bit of definition to my lower lash line as well. So I went back in with the shade Jet Setter and I just applied that right along my bottom lash line and kind of smoked it out a little bit. And of course I wanted to highlight, so I used the shade Funny Girl, which is so pretty. I used this in my inner corners and then right along the inner parts of my upper eyelids, just in that space where I didn't apply any eyeshadow and I thought it looked so pretty. I'm a huge fan of this eyeshadow palette. Definitely check it out if you're looking for something that is good for literally any type of event or even just every day. This palette has like everything you would need. Since I have lash extensions, I only need to apply mascara to my bottom lashes and I'm using one of my all-time favorite mascaras from Urban Decay. This is the Troublemaker Mascara and I love this one for bottom lashes. And for blush, I am using one from ColourPop. This is one of their Ultra Shock blushes in the shade Prenup. It's a very pretty pink. It's pretty cool tone. I definitely could have used something a little warmer, but I will end up using a little bit of bronzer to try to warm it up anyways. So I'm doing that here. I'm using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is a matte bronzer, so I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth to my face and kind of warm up that blush tone, and I think it did a really good job of doing that. And for highlighter, I'm using, again, one of my all-time favorites. This is the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. It is one of the most beautiful highlighters I've ever seen, and it has a pink undertone, which I thought would go perfect with this look. So at this point, I wanted to set my makeup. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup makeup setting spray. These are my favorite setting sprays of all time and I always like to go back over it with a blending sponge or something just to make sure I set down all of the little baby hairs and take away any of the powdery finishes. And I went on to lips. So I'm using one of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencils in the shade Rush. This is very close to my natural lip color so I just wanted to kind of fill it in, give a nice base to work on because I will be using liquid lipsticks. And last year I ordered a bunch of these mini liquid lipsticks from Jouer and these are the longwear lip creams. I'm first using the shade Tawny Rose and this is a really beautiful tawny kind of 
pinky rose color and I really liked it but I wanted it to be slightly lighter so I went over top with Dulce de Leche and I loved the finished tone of it. I thought it looked really great for the makeup look that I was going for. And for my hair, I wanted to kind of quickly show you guys what I did. Um, I do have a whole video on how I curl my hair with either a straightener or a curling wand. I decided to do it with a straightener today and also I had let my hair air dry which I usually like to do and I had brushed it out in this video and it was so smooth and barely even frizzy. So honestly, I am very impressed with the Ovation hair trial system that I was using in this video. I will 100% continue using this like without a doubt. I was very, very happy with it. But anyways, this is how I curl my hair with a straightener. I basically just clamp the hair and twist the straightener away from my face if I want the curls going away from my face. And it's way easier to section your hair off while you do it. And it was getting really warm so I had to take off my robe. But yeah, I just wanted to do really simple curls, almost beachy waves. I like to have the ends of my hair pretty straight, so I decided to leave them straight and just have like nice soft curls throughout my hair for this event. I was really happy with how it turned out. And I also wanna show you guys what I wore for this event. So I recently bought this white blazer um, from RW & Co, as well as the white dress pants. I got this cute crossbody bag from designer shoe warehouse i believe it's the brand kelly and katie my blush floral top is from forever 21 and then i was also wearing these super cute heels also from kelly and katie at dsw and they've got little flower details on them but they're basically just strappy heels and that is the completed look for this event so that's it for this get ready with me video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And of course, thank you to Ovation Hair for working with me in this video. If you are curious about the product or wanna try it out, you can check out the trial set. I will have a link to it in the description box below. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.